Hello everyone, all new at nine, the ACLU planning a court battle to stop new restrictions on abortions here in Georgia. Today, state lawmakers passed a bill that effectively bans abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. The governor is expected to sign that legislation. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is at the Capitol tonight with this emotional reaction, Jamie. Yeah, Brittany, protesters have been lining these steps for weeks, trying to stop House Bill 481, known as the heartbeat bill, from passing. Now that it has passed, both sides for and against are readying themselves for what comes next. In what at times seemed like a David versus Goliath battle, the so-called heartbeat bill passed its last hurdle. Reducing the possibility of an abortion in Georgia when a heartbeat is detected around six weeks, according to doctors. You know, I think the outcome shows that the common sense of Georgians reign today. You know, we recognize that balancing the interest of mothers in very difficult situations with a basic right to life of children is an important function of government. And I think that's what we proved today. Since the bill was announced, demonstrators had been fighting a bill they say wrests women's rights away from them. As a pregnant woman, if I have to stand outside until the 40th day of July 1st outside of the governor's office, I will stand outside and I will get my chair and I will rally around because you do not need to sign this bill because you did this in your first year because you know you are done. You signed this bill, you are done. Thank you. Similar bills have passed in North Carolina and Kentucky, with both ending up in front of the courts and being blocked by a federal judge. The ACLU of Georgia will be ready to fight this law in court. If the governor signs this bill into law, we will see him in court. Governor Brian Kemp is not deterred, releasing a statement that says we stand up for the innocent and speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. Now, Governor Brian Kemp has 40 days after Tuesday, the last day of session for the year, to sign the bill. Brittany. And Jamie, you've learned tonight that if the courts don't block this bill, opponents have a plan. Exactly. The protesters against this bill said to me today that they are sounding a loud warning to those who voted for the bill that come 2020 their seats are very unsafe and that women vote in large numbers and will vote in the right people to repeal this bill. Brittany. All right, Jamie, thank you so much. So much more to come. We'll see you after NCAA.